okay welcome guys welcome to selenium and java training so so far we have covered in part one i'll show you what is java why java is important and basic things of uh, java that string concatenation data types operators if else condition looping concept two dimension array one dimension array advantages disadvantages so these are the very basic programming okay uh, language concepts so far we have done. let's move to the new part of java that is called part 2 in which we will discuss about what is class what is an object different kind of other object references uh, questions are available in the market and we will discuss about those questions what is uh, garbage collection concept okay now functions in java non static function this is very very important uh, session functions in java we will discuss about it what is function overloading or method overloading why main method can we overload main method what is global variable local variable static functions and variable what is the difference between static and non static okay so this is part two this is uh, step two you can say that so far we have covered very basic things now we have to move to the uh, to the next level so this is a completely uh, <coughs> new level so it's a little bit uh, you if you want to understand this particular concept make sure that you are good in these things okay in part one okay whatever we have covered so far okay because part two is not complex i i won't say but yes it's important it's really important for java point of view okay so let's create a class and uh, first create one package let's see so far we have covered src basics i mean src java basics we will today we will create one more package let's see the package name is uh, object oriented programming concept okay it's concept part two okay let's see part one okay so in object oriented programming also we have a lot of things inheritance polymorphism abstractions interfaces and all those things so we will discuss those things later but what exactly the basic concepts of classes and objects we will discuss about those things okay so don't give any spatial character just like object or programming concept part one and click on finish so one package will be created inside this package <coughs> i'll create a class let's see my class name is uh, okay so today we are going to cover first what is a class so what is a class see class is a kind of entity where we have to define the properties we have to define number of methods and variables now what is a method what is a variable variable and methods are the characteristics of any particular class see my name is Naveen so I am a class okay I am a human class okay so what is my name my name is Naveen what are my properties my properties my characteristics are Naveen can walk Naveen can run Naveen can sleep Naveen can write the code okay Naveen can uh, Naveen can play cricket okay so these are my property these are my characteristics okay so class is a is an entity where number of properties are there it's a kind of physical entity we have to define the number of properties in the form of methods in the form of variables okay so let's create a class let's take very simple example let's see i'll create one car class simple car class okay and i'll create one method main method and click on finish why main method because main method again it's important to have main method to execute any program okay now inside this particular main method what exactly I'll do I'm not going to write any code inside the main method what I'll do I'll create two variables here okay in car class I'll create two variables immediately after my car class so these are called global variables okay or class variables I'll create two class variables Let's see, my first class variable is integer, uh, what exactly the model number? Okay, let's see the model, integer mod. And I'll create one more class, the class, okay, one more variable, integer b. Okay, so I have two uh, variables, okay, integer mod and integer b. Okay, and what exactly I'll do, I'll leave this main method as it is right now, okay, and what exactly I'll do, I'll run this program so if you run this program what will happen simple it will see that okay main method is there and nothing is written inside the main method so no output okay so it will show you blank so if you run this program run as java application it's giving you nothing 
see no output on the console okay now what i'll do i'll create the object of this particular class car class now what is an object see i'm i'm a car class let's see okay so object means you have to create the physical entity of that particular car class let's see uh, i'm the car class or i'm the human class and i'm navin so okay my body is like object and who is referring my body navin is referring my body okay and what are the different properties of that particular object properties of object means the class property okay because each and every human being having these kind of properties they can walk they can sleep they can run right so in, in each and every object having different different names okay tom peter navi different different names similarly i'll create one car class and what exactly i'll do i'll create three models okay i'll create three objects of that particular car class let me show you through diagram first then you will understand better see it's really important most of the people they don't understand what exactly the concept of class and object it's really important to understand okay so let me show you through some diagram first and then we will convert that diagram into coding so let's see i have one car class okay so in car class i'll create three objects of car class this is car object number 1 object number 2 and object number 3 okay i'll create three classes what exactly i'll do this is simple object 1 object 2 and object 3 but how to create these objects in the form of coding okay i'll give some name let's see this is ob1 okay this is ob1 or let's see this object number a okay the object of second is name is b the third object is c okay and the third object is c but how to create these objects i have created three objects okay but what exactly these objects who is referring these objects how to create these objects okay so we will see in the form of coding first so how to create the object of any class so first write the class name inside the main method car c capital because class is a okay car is a class name okay so c capital and give the object name a object name is equal to new keyword and car again give the class name and then these two brackets and semicolon so this line is representing one object okay so this line having two things left hand side and right hand side but whatever you can see in the right hand side new car this line is called this right hand side is called object okay so due to this line new car one object will be created inside the java memory like this one object will be created like this inside the java memory but who is referring this object a is referring this object so what is a here a is object reference variable okay a is representing or a is referring this particular object who is who is representing my body navin is representing my body right okay my body is an object and who is who is referring who is representing navin is referring same thing new car i have created one car new car okay one class object but who is referring this object a is referring this object okay similarly what exactly i'll do i'll create one more object car b is equal to new car okay car b equal to new car and i'll create one more object car c is equal to new car so how many object i have created three objects Three objects, right? New car, new car, and new car. These are not objects, guys. Always remember, at the time of interview, they will ask you, "What is an object here?" This is called object. Okay, so let me write it here. This is the object of car class. But who is representing the objects? A, B, and C. Three variables we have defined. Car class reference variable we have defined. which are representing okay these objects so car a equal to new car car b equal to new car car c equal to new car three objects we have created and three different object names we have created and always remember we cannot create duplicate object reference name i cannot create like this car a equal to new car and car a equal to new car i cannot create like this 
So obviously car B equal to new car, car C equal to new car. So due to these three lines, three objects will be created, right? A, B and C. Okay, these three objects will be created. What will happen? Integer model, integer wheel. So these two variables, okay, will be given to each and every object. The copy of these two variables, okay, these two variables will be given to object number one. Object number one will be given to this object and it will be given to this object and it will be given to this object. The copy of, okay, these two variables, okay, model and wheel, model and wheel, model and wheel, these copy of these objects will be given to, okay, each and every object, all this variable. So if you have created 100 objects, 100, okay, Java automatically create 100 copies of these two variables and will be given to each and every uh, copy will be given to, okay, these corresponding objects, okay. Now, what exactly I'll do, now, if you want to give some value, model equal to, let's see, uh, BMW, okay, so how to exact, how exactly you have to do, I'll write A dot mod is equal to, let's see, I'll give some model number is BMW, okay, X1, okay, or let's see, because this is integer, so I have to give, I have to give some integer number, let's see, model number, uh, 2015 model okay so a dot mod 2015 I want to initialize some wheel how many wheels a dot wheel is equal to 4 okay so 2015 and 4 will be given to a a object okay why because we have defining with the a object okay a object reference name so a dot mod equal to 2015 a dot wheel equal to 4 so what will happen the mod is equal to the model number equal to 2015 okay will be given to this mod and wheels equal to 4 will be given to this one wheels equal to 4 similarly if you want to give some value through b okay to b reference object b dot mod equal to let's see 2014 model and b dot wheel is equal to 4 Okay, so 2014 will be given to B and wheels equal to 4 will be given to, okay, B, B is of reference variable. Okay, so 2014 will be given to model and wheel equal to 4 will be given to wheel object of this object. Similarly, I'll write B dot mod is equal to 2013 model and B dot wheel is equal to for will be given to C, not sorry, not with B, but with C. Okay, so C dot mod and C dot 2013. Okay, C dot wheel equal to 4 and C dot mod equal to 2013. Okay, simple 2013 will be given to modular reference, modular uh, variable, and 4 will be given to V. Okay, so I have given what exactly I have done so far. First, I have created three objects, object 1, 2, 3, and these objects are referred by A, B, C respectively, and I have initialized all these three, all these uh, uh, two variables, class variables, because class variable copy will be given to each and every object. The so copy has been given, okay, we have given one copy to each and every object, but we have to initialize the value also, right, so how to initialize the value? A dot mod equal to 2015, A dot wheel equal to 4. It means we have initialized with A reference variable and we have initialized these two variables, these two class variables. Mod and wheel, mod and wheel. B dot mod wheel, B dot mod wheel. So initialize the value 2014 and 4 and then 2013 and 4. Okay. Now, if you want to print what exactly the value of model with A, with A object, so simple a dot mod so a dot mod is what a dot mod is 2015 so 2015 will be printed on the console so let's run it 2015 simple system dot out dot print ln a dot wheel will be printed on the console a dot wheel equal to 4 will be printed on the console 
Okay, so these are your car properties with A model. Similarly, system.out.println, b.model, and system.out.println, b.wheel. Okay, so b.wheel and b.model 2040 and 4 will be printed on the console 2040 and 4. Okay, system.out.println, c.model, and system.out.println. Print Allen C dot wheel okay will be printed on the console. Okay, so if you run it, it will print C dot mod equal to 2013 and C dot wheel equal to 4. Okay, so this is the concept of objects that we have one car class and inside the Java memory. See, this is called your Java memory. Inside the Java memory, it will automatically create okay, due to the these three lines, three Java objects will be created. Okay, so always remember guys, this is object, A is not object, this is object, B is not object. Okay, so new car is the object. So how to create the object? By using new operator. Okay, new operator or new keyword is used to create the object. Okay, and here we have A, B, C. Are reference variable object reference variable object reference variables okay got it so this is called okay this is called how to create the object how to pass the copy of class variables to each and every object okay so at the time of interview they will ask how to create the object so simply you have to say let's see car class is there how to create the object of car class car a equal to new car and you can give any name a b c d your name my name whatever the name you want to give you can give okay it's so a simple just object reference name but this is reference name object reference name this is not the object always remember these things okay so we have seen that what is object what is object reference okay Later we will see what is of garbage collections and how what are different uh, object references, manipulations and all those things we will see. Okay.